Hello, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday, the 20th of February 2017. Brilliant card this week, the Ace of Wands. And if you can see it, oh, without the light on it, um, it's big wonder baton and it's full of fire energy and it's just bright and energetic. Just a card that's full of energy and fire. Um, excuse me being a wee bit breathless and uh, husky. Um, like many of you, I have the cold and cough that is refusing to go away no matter what I do. Um, and I hope that with this fire card, we find oh, upside down with the fire card, we actually get really get rid of it and start to get a wee bit more energy back. So for all of you out there that suffered this um, cough and cold or flu bug or whatever, oh my God, my thoughts are with you because it's been three, four weeks for me now and I'm still not really feeling great. So anyway, um, the tarot card, um, it's an ace brilliant and it's the suit of wands which is traditionally seen as the fire suit. Uh, aces are about new beginnings, fresh starts or massive reboots um, and they're wonderful cards. Uh, they bring an energy of freshness, newness, birth, uh, rebirth. They have this, these amazing starting off energy as it's an ace it's a number one and in numerology that is the same it's all about new beginnings fresh starts uh, and it's also the core of the suit of ones and ones is fire fire energy uh, a sense of creativity a sense of our passions a sense of our energy um, and that certainly in day-to-day -day readings can be watered down to be career and yes ones is the suit that normally corresponds with things going on in career when they're about what we want to do and and how we do it rather than pentacles which is about the money and the organization and the more mundane aspects ones is about um our passions the way that we can sort of go forward with our desires our needs uh in creativity job and even spirituality so it's just a big big card so in general it's going to give us all a boost of energy and that can be health energy it can be creative energy it can be spiritual energy and it can also be the energy of career and where we want to go with that so good good card thank goodness um, what does it mean in different areas of life? Well, in career, when you've got the Ace of Wands, if you want a new job, try and go for it this week because it matches up. You know, the, the fates are kind of giving you something to actually attach yourself or go for. So this could be the week if you've got interviews, etc., that actually really, really do make progress. Um, it's also where a lot of creative thought will come out about career. You know, you could say, well, I've been doing this for X amount of years and oh, I'm a wee bit bored or I'm a wee bit stayed. So what next? Where am I going? What can I train for? What can I do? And there's that aspect with work as well. And maybe an awful lot more energy to get through things, which is always nice. So um, don't back off uh, in career from making changes for going for jobs and interviews. And even if you're not wanting to leave where you are, to sort of hold yourself a wee bit higher and say that I have these ideas I have this energy. This is the way I would like to see <laughs> things. I remember years ago, I was only 20 years old, years ago, going uh, for an interview uh, for a new health centre pharmacy, age 24. It was nuts, absolutely nuts. And it was a bit cocky back then. And uh, anyway, so I remember sitting in front of those three older men asking me questions about how I would handle like a pharmacy that could maybe do 800, 1,000 scripts a day. And I remember just going through it. And at the end, they said to me, do you have um, any questions for us? And I was like, yes, I do. Um, you know, if, if I get this job, where do you see me in five years? Do you see me being part of a team? Do you see me being having this, this and this? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and the look in their face was horrendous. Like, 
what? She's just saying, okay, instead of being like, I'm only 24, I know you're not going to give me this job. It was like, well, I kind of deserve this job. So if I do it and I do it as well as I know I can do it, um, what are you going to give me? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and that's the ace of wands. That is the ace of wands. It's cheeky, it's slightly assertive, well, it's really assertive, not aggressive, assertive, okay? So that's the type of energies to use uh, this week, you know. Yes, I, I'm good enough for this, and this is what I bring to it. And what about, what are you going to give me? And believe me, sometimes it won't work, but in my career, it's got me like better company cars and, and wage increases. <laughs> and really, it's been, a lot of it's just been confidence and maybe just a wee bit of blasting out there. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get. So remember that with career this week. If you don't ask, you don't get. Okay? And be assertive. And then if you get something brilliant, and if you don't, fair enough. At least you've tried. Okay? <laughs> the wee hint there. Um, right, so career, very good card for if we look at health, it brings energy back, energy, energy, energy. Uh, so if you maybe started going to the gym and falling off, you will have the energy to go back to it. If you've been sick, you should start to feel your energy coming back, thank goodness. Um, because this is um, a masculine suit and it's the ace of the masculine suit, this can be seen as the phallus, basically. Um, so for men out there, it's time to maybe take care of your bits a wee bit more. Um, that includes anything to do with the prostate, to do with um, all that area, you know, um, it's time to check your bits, it's time to look after yourself, it's time to do any tests that need done for the masculine areas, um, because that can be quite important when this card comes out. It's a wee reminder, you know, um, have you had your wee prostate test or, you know, have you felt a wee lump or whatever? So please use this as a reminder to for men to watch your male bits. It can also bring a degree of um, pressure on the spine, so people with sore backs can find that this could bring a wee bit of sore backs there. Excuse me. Um, but generally as a health card, it's good. It brings a lot of fiery energy. Uh, not so good if you're menopausal and you're suffering from hot flushes or flashes, because uh, it'll bring out more of them, but generally it's a good card. Um, if we look at it in love, uh, it brings passion, a fresh start to passion. So if you're, um, you know, if you're not with a partner, you could find this is the week that you find a passion for someone. Maybe meet someone online, or you meet someone at a bus stop, and it just flares up. Uh, so it's a good card for relationship starting, but out of a strong attraction and passion. Um, if you're within a relationship. Passion, please. We bit more fire energy. We bit more desire. We bit more. Um, let's have some fun, okay? Uh, sometimes when we get tired and we've had flu bugs and this that next thing, or you've been together a long time, or life gets you down, um, you sometimes need to remind in that passion's important for one another. Um, so off you go. <laughs> Um, right, uh, I'll still get the cold here, but you know, I'm just uh, I'm just doing this as it comes, so that's and it will not get edited. Right, so we've done career, we've done health, and we've done love, money, uh, money and finances. Uh, basically, this is a, a good one for making money because it, it brings the energy behind it, the assertiveness to say. I'm going to save, or I'm going to get that bargain, or I'm going to get that. It brings the energy to kind of um, be passionate about your financial well-being, and that's always good, okay? Other things to remember with this card, it can bring a fantastic fresh start to creativity. It can bring that sense of all these ideas coming up. Now, the ace without follow-ups, where creativity and ideas is concerned is no good. You can have all the ideas in the world, but if you then don't take the next step to say the two of wands, the one to the two, to put it in motion, then the ideas won't really go anywhere. So it's important that you don't have all these brilliant ideas and then just let them drift or not write them down, not take action on them. Please know this, that the ace without the follow-up cards in the suit just hangs there. It's just like, oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I've got all these ideas and they're all stuck. 
No, get them flowing, get them flowing, and you'll be fine. You'll you'll love it. Um, it also has an energy of connecting with your spiritual passions, and you know if you felt that you've been in a lull spiritually, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Fire, um, can bring a lot of good energy back to a spiritual path. Uh, so all in all, hmm, yeah, good card, passionate, creative, brilliant for career. Good for health, even as a reminder. Good for passion and love and enjoyment and relationships. Good for friendships as well. Good for ambition. Brilliant ambition card. Uh, it's all there. One ace. The ace of wands. The ace of fire. The ace of battles. Go enjoy it. Get your energy up and join with this card and you will see progress. Believe me, you will see progress. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Give me the thumbs up if you do. And uh, you could give me, a, let's see which way does this go, the wee button that comes up in a minute. No, it's that way. <laughs> uh, press it and um, it will help you subscribe to the channel without any hassle. Okay, so... Press the B button with my face on it and you'll be subscribed. Give me the thumbs up and I'll see you back next week for another weekly tarot card. Bye now. Many blessings.